Hi Scorpio, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your reading for December. This is December 2018. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We are just going to see whatever comes up. I typically focus on love. Keep in mind that this is not a private reading. That means it may be for you or it may not be for you. This is for Scorpio. I focus on love. We'll see whatever comes up. I'm going to get one of these, then we're going to use that deck right there. Remember, this is for the whole entire month of December. So it may not resonate right now. It may resonate at the end of December. It may resonate in the middle of December. Or, like I said, it might not be your reading. If you are in a happily ever after relationship, then you should not watch this reading. This reading is for people that are seeking answers in regards to a love relationship. The world. Beautiful. You know, you have the world in your hands. You have an opportunity to do whatever you want. The world, like I said, the world is in your hands. You have, you have the, the opportunity to go in a new direction. You have an opportunity for victory and success. You have an opportunity to get whatever you want at this time. Okay? This is also a completion. Okay, the world is, is usually, I mean, in the other decks, it's the last card in the deck. It's the, it's the card of ultimate completion, where one cycle ends and a new cycle begins. So it looks like to me that you guys are about to start a new cycle, and it could even involve traveling, internationally even. It looks like you guys are coming to the end of, a, I mean, he's getting to the end of the, this plank here, whatever it is the pier coming to the end so something is coming to an end and it's a phase in your life something that has been very prominent in your life for a long time so this is a long-term phase that is coming to an end and you're about to begin a new phase brand new phase for Scorpio we're just gonna zoom this in a little bit Beautiful card. One of the best cards you can get. You can you can you could say that you've learned a big life lesson. You have a big life lesson has been learned, and now it's time to work on the next one. And that's what this is. You know, and it almost looks like there's an eclipse with this world card. So something is being eclipsed out of your life. Like I said, there's a new beginning here. Absolutely. Scorpio. What does Scorpio need to hear for the month of December? Victory and success. Being recognized for your valor. Being recognized for your perseverance and your hard work. Absolutely. You're going to be recognized. Looks like you've definitely put in a lot of effort. And you are going to be rewarded. You are going to be rewarded for all the work that you've put into something. Oh, the world again! Right under this card. I love it when that happens. So yeah, you guys have a major new beginning here. And you're on this card, right? So something big, 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 big is changing for you. And this could be the very beginning of it in December. Okay? And it, whatever is happening, it's... What, it, this completion that you are having is going to lead you to extreme victory and success in your life in the future. No doubt. If you have thought about giving up, 
you know, if you've thought about, you know, when is things going to change? If you've been worried that you're never going to get a reward for what you've been through, stop worrying, okay? Because you are going to get some sort of reward. There, one cycle, one difficult cycle, where you've had to put in a lot of freaking work to make something change or make something grow or whatever it is. You've had to put in a lot of work and you're about to receive recognition and victory and success. Wow. This is reluctant to move on. Reluctant. Why? Why? You guys are reluctant to move on from something because it's what you know. Change is scary. Something big is changing in your life. Don't let your thoughts, swords or thoughts, your fears hold you back. Take baby steps if you have to. So you're going to find happiness by summertime. By summertime. It's going to start this month. But by summertime, you are going to be extremely happy that you took the baby steps that you needed to take. Trust me. You need to be logical here and you need to see things from a new perspective. You need to take care of yourself because if you don't take care of yourself, nobody else is going to. And other people may see, think that that is a little harsh. But like I said, if you don't take care of you, nobody else is going to. And that's the reality. You may be reluctant to move on from a situation because... You don't want to be alone. That could be the case. I don't know. Ah, there's one relationship that is coming to an end because there's no more stability, no more growth, no, no more success there. Like I said, there's a cycle ending in your life. It could even be a relationship. And it's going to lead you towards extreme happiness in another relationship. No shit. But one relationship that you have been in, whether this is work or, <coughs> you know, love, isn't stable. It's not solid. It's not going to grow. It's not going to be successful. There's no security in that. And you need to stop clinging to the past. You need to stop clinging to it. And I know that it's scary. Definitely afraid to move on to this new beginning absolutely afraid to move on but not seeing that things from a new perspective is only going to bring trouble into your life interesting so somebody's clinging to the memories clinging to the past could be a leo maybe there's a leo that hurt you i don't know could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius as well. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Either way, we have somebody here that is clinging to the memories, clinging to the pain, because it's the swords, it's painful. Clinging to the pain, clinging to the memories. Throwing away or not seeing that there's a golden opportunity in the future for happiness. In a new direction where you will be appreciated and recognized. So yeah, if don't give up. Keep going. You're headed in the right direction. Don't look back. Don't let the memories, don't let the past, don't let the hurt, don't let the pain, don't let the memories. Yeah, there was some good memories, whatever. I mean, not trying to play it down, but yeah, we all have them. But there's been some sort of time wasted 
waiting for some sort of somebody to come back that's not coming back. And it's time to be practical and logical. You have a major new beginning here waiting for you to step over that finish line. Step over the edge and don't look back. Don't look back. Turn your back on the past. Seriously, turn your back on the past. Because you have an opportunity for extreme happiness by summertime. You have the opportunity to get into a new committed relationship. But you're going to have to find your confidence and your self-respect. And recognize that the past opportunity is no more. It's gone. It's lost. And it's supposed to be. So whatever this is. You know, somebody is reluctant to let go of the past. No shit. And they need to be strong. They need to look at this from a new perspective. And I think I said it in the Daily Vibe today. Rejection is God's protection. You have the opportunity to take back your power at this time. To take back control. To get out there and have fun. To receive what you deserve. To get happy. You know, let your friends help you. Somebody has been in a really controlling situation or they're trying to control the situation with the emperor reversed. Trying to control... Manipulating, trying to manipulate, trying to manifest somebody from their past. God damn it. Oh, there's an opportunity. You should be looking at this as a time of celebration. You really should. You should be celebrating your independence. She's an independent woman. She is. And it's, you, should be you should be celebrating your independence right now. Seriously. Go out. Have fun. Let your friends help you. It's not really in your control. Yes, free will plays a part. But somebody is absolutely trying to control their future. You know, their future. They are. By bringing the past back. Somebody from the past. Now this is a card of Teamwork, togetherness, compromise, and communication, and appreciation. You are going to get what you deserve when you let go of control. Let go of control issues. You're going to get somebody that makes you really happy. You're going to get somebody that appreciates you and wants to work with you and puts in a lot of effort. But you have to truly step over that finish line and stop staying in this troublesome situation, whatever it is. There's no wish fulfillment holding on, trying to control. You're not going to get wish fulfillment with whatever it is that you think you're supposed to have. You're trying to manifest something that's not real. It's not. The queen, the ace of pentacles reverse, it's not real. It's not. I'm sorry. And it's, this is trying to manifest. The ace of pentacles, the card of manifestation, trying to control something doesn't lead to wish fulfillment. It's out of your control. Trust the universe. Trust, I mean, the world is a universe card. We have it twice. The universe is in control. Just be happy during this time. Have fun. Loosen up. By summertime, you're going to be extremely happy if you let the universe drive. Mm. There's lack of receiving the love that you deserve by trying to control it. Trying to put a name on things. 
That's what this is. It is. This is the person I want. Doesn't work like that. Because the script has already been written. And rejection is protection. Right? It is. Somebody is not going to get the love that they, that, with a name on it. And I know that a lot of people don't want to hear that, but that is the truth. And if you don't love yourself enough to hold your head up high and move in a new direction, then you're not going to get what you deserve. And remember, this is a lesson learned. The world card is a lesson learned. You deserve love. You're holding on to a dead end. Somebody's holding on to a dead end situation. This is the death of an idea. He's, he's, he's laying on the casket. It's dead. And it's sad. Yes, it is sad and it hurts. The card before this is the Three of Swords. And the next card is the Five of Swords, which is about rejection and ego. It hurts. It hurts to let go of what hurt you. But you have to deal with that pain for however long it takes. Maybe you need to grieve Whatever you got to do. But then you need to realize that you have an opportunity. This, you should be celebrating. You know, when somebody dies to celebrate, they do a celebration of life, right? You should be celebrating after you get done your grieving. Go ahead, go through that grieving process, whatever it is. But then celebrate your independence and realize that you have an opportunity to start over. And do whatever you want. You've avoided a much bigger disaster and a lot of you don't see that. Maybe you do. Maybe you're starting, some of you are, because we're all at different timelines, some of you have already realized that something was a dead end and you're in the process of heading towards your extreme happiness. Some of you have already stepped over that edge, but you're still, you know, hurt. You're not done the grieving process. But anyway, somebody has avoided a much bigger disaster. By being pushed out of a relationship that wasn't emotionally fulfilling, believe it or not, even though you may not want to believe that. This is this is a blessing, but it's reversed. And this is a blessing and it's reversed. A blessing in disguise and this is a blessing. Somebody needs to realize that this was a blessing in disguise. Trust me, it was. That something didn't manifest the way that you wanted it to. You have a new beginning here. Big one. Big, 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 big one. Here we go. A new opportunity to start over in a new direction, new path. This is like a new job, new partner, brand new, brand new, brand new. And that's a golden opportunity. To find the commitment and the happiness that you've dreamed about. It's going to happen. So I feel like in December, you may feel a little conflicted still in regards to committing to somebody else. You may feel a little conflicted about that because you're still grieving over the past. We have a Taurus Virgo Capricorn here. Maybe this person is coming, you know, in the future. I don't know. Um... But it feels as though you have a new opportunity, but you're conflicted about committing to this. 
because you're still holding on to trying to control something, still holding on to bitterness, perhaps, from the past. That's sad. <coughs> anyway, you could be dealing with a cancer as well. It's time to master your emotions. Put yourself in the driver's seat and face the opposition. Face your fears. Head in that new direction. Travel. Travel the new road. Go down the high road. Do whatever you got to do. Put yourself in the driver's seat and get the hell out of that situation. This is victory in success. Again, this is also a card of transformation. So this is a month of you guys going through a transformation and dealing with some sort of loss. There is some sort of loss here. And you probably have a new offer from somebody. Looks like you're going to receive a new offer from somebody. But you're scared to accept it. You're scared to accept it because the past is still there. And you're like, well, what if I, sh I should be with that one? No. That one is a dead-end situation. You have, that's over. The world is a lesson learned, cycle completed, done. Eclipsed out, done. So you guys have a new opportunity to start over with someone new. If you accept this offer by summertime, you will be extremely happy. Sorry, I didn't mean to put that down so heavily. There's an opportunity to find victory and success. Now this is seven, which is what, July, summertime? All right. So by summertime, you have an opportunity for extreme happiness if you really step over that finish line and stop trying to cling to the past. Move in a new direction. This could even lead to marriage, commitment, true love. But you have to stop thinking about what happened. I know that takes time. Past life relationship, you've known each other before. Absolutely. This is with the new person, you see where? The new person, not the old one. New. Oh, this is perfect, perfect, perfect. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. It, 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 the, the power is in your hands. No shit. Stop clinging to the past because you have a new beginning here that is unbelievable. I wouldn't be uh, wasting that opportunity if I was you. Good luck. <laughs>